Hi there, this is Robin from CARE 7 and today I'm going to teach you some breathing exercises. And these very basic simple breathing exercises are ways to help calm and restore your body. They're ways that will help clear and center your mind and your emotions. So when we learn to establish steady, consistent, deep belly breath, um, we, we feel better and we begin to restore the body's natural and innate ability to heal itself. So the first basic breath that we're going to do is called the belly breath or the deep diaphragmatic breath. And it is just as it says, the belly breath originates from low in the belly and you can place your hands on the belly. And what we want to do is inhale through the nose and let that belly breath reach to the palms. And then as you exhale through the mouth, that belly pulls back away from the palms, it hollows and empties. So we'll try that again. Inhale through the nose, let the belly expand towards the hands. Exhale through the mouth, let the belly pull back in kind of towards the spine and away from the hands. And let's do one more deep belly breath. And exhale. Good. So the belly breath, I'm going to be a little geeky here, but the belly breath is very, very powerful for signaling to our brain safety, security, and healing. When that belly gets big, it lowers the diaphragm, and the diaphragm stimulates this really cool nerve, a uh, very important nerve called the vagus nerve. And that vagus nerve signals all the way up into the brain that fight or flight um, part of the brain that we had talked about before this um, pocket of survival at the base of the skull, that fight, flight, freeze. When the vagus nerve stimulates that, it turns that like a little light switch, that part of the brain it helps turn it off and it signals to the brain, we're okay, we're calm, we're in a safe space, we're healing versus the brain being in that kind of chronic or perpetual state of fight, flight, freeze. And when we click on that healing center of the automatic response, we start regulating our emotions. We start regulating our thinking a little bit more clearly. Our communication improves and our relationship to our body can, can improve. So just deep belly breathing creates this whole really cool physiological response that actually changes our chemistry from panic and fear to calm and safety, okay? So with that, we're gonna move on to um, adding what we call the three-part breath to the belly breath. So this time I'm gonna have you take your hand and place it just above the, the heart on the left side of the pec and the right hand still at the belly. And now we're still going to encourage that belly breath. So as we inhale through the nose, we want the belly to expand, but then slowly lift and rise the breath all the way up to the left hand. And then we're going to exhale through the mouth and we're going to encourage the breath to release from the left palm all the way down, torso hollowing and emptying, belly pulls back away from the right palm. And let's try that once more or twice more. So inhale slow and steady through the nose. Let the belly get really big and full. Let it reach up like a gentle wave all the way to the left palm. And then exhale from the left palm all the way down to the right. One more time. Let's
can exhale through the mouth. Good. And once you're complete with that next exhale, you can release the hands. So if you're new to breathing, or even if you've been breathing for a long period of time, I recommend that sometimes laying down is an easier way to get used to that belly breath. Um, and it's quite frankly more comfortable than trying to sit up and work on good posture. So you can do this belly breath activity laying down. It's very important to remember that when we're doing our diaphragmatic breathing that we breathe only in through the nose. We are uh, able to breathe out through the mouth, but we don't want to breathe in through the mouth. Breathing in through the mouth is what's going to trigger that fear response, that fight, flight, freeze response. So we want, and breathing in the mouth also means that we're breathing in the chest. So our healing breath is in through the nose from the belly. Also, if you've been very stressed or if you're new to belly breathing, it's gonna feel a little sore and it might even feel really hard to get that belly breath to expand. You might be working a few breaths where you're um, kind of stuck in the chest breath and that's very normal. And all we do is keep practicing, keep coming back to that belly breath and using those hands as resources or references to encourage the breath to rise up and out. Let the belly get big on the inhale and reach all the way through the torso. And then let the torso hollow and empty all the way on that exhale. So a good rule of thumb is just to remember that when you're breathing in, you're taking in life and you want to get really big with that life. You want the belly to get really big and expansive. And as you're exhaling, you're letting go of stress. You're emptying yourself of stress. Like anything, when we learn a new practice or coping mechanism, it's going to take some time getting used to. So have patience with yourself and don't worry about getting it perfect. It's going to be a little bumpy in the beginning. But the point is to just keep trying and to know that this is a really incredible and helpful tool. It's available to you all the time and it really will start to make you feel better the more and more you can introduce it into your daily practices. As always, reach out if you need more support and stay tuned for other videos on breathing and stress management.